Uh, this is the story so far. This is um, the resistor R10, and that's uh, a one meg resistor, and that's actually the um, uh, screen grid resistor. That should be one meg, and it's actually 1.52 meg, so I've replaced that. Um, this is R14 and uh, that's the um, uh, resistor for the screen of V9 um, that's the uh, the phase splitter and uh, this is a 1 meg resistor and it's actually open circuit I've uh, replaced it and um, I've now got uh, 50 volts on uh, that test point it should be 22 volts it was minus uh, 0.13 volts so we're moving in the right direction but I'm not quite sure why it's um, high there um, so again that may be an issue that I need to look at with the valve but uh, I just wanted to keep the um, resistor and a note of it so as I know uh, what I've changed and uh, just so as I can keep a, a better record um, this R56 um, 27k 1 watt this is in the bottom of the meter circuit the S meter circuit and, um, just uh, bring that in there hope I'm getting this and uh, it's that resistor it's that resistor there and uh, that was open circuit and what I found was I had uh, 246 volts on each of those three terminals on that pot and uh, that uh, suggested that resistor being open and uh, there it is so uh, com completely open circuit um, uh, so anyway I'm, I'm getting there that's a 27k um, I, uh, I haven't got any 1 watt resistors um, and uh, these are that's 27k quarter watt 27k quarter watt that's 27k half watt um, I know that I worked it out as about uh, 0.9 of a watt uh, in that resistor so um, what I'll do is I'll use four um, half watt uh, resistors in a series parallel combination just to get it away so as I can test the meter and see how I'm doing there. As you can see I've got the meter working again and um, it's, it's not a hundred percent as I still have a, a problem zeroing the meter when I've got the RF gain set to 100% um, so that I think may be an issue with the valve but um, I'll, I'll have to check that out further but at least the meters uh, moving this is the 27k resistor that I showed you before and uh, I'm always interested in uh, failure modes as uh, I like to understand what's happening with things and uh, what I've done I've cut this one in half with uh, a diamond saw little diamond wheel and then emerid the surface I'll get some close-ups as you can see what's going on as I say I'm always interested in the failure mode of things because it's uh, it's helped me to understand what to avoid when I've been designing things um, and not that I'm learning <laughs> much from this but uh, you can see um, just put a bit of moisture on there uh, you can see the structure of uh, that resistor and you can see the, the granular nature of uh, the material in it so it looks as though there's some sort of carbon material and then uh, some sort of binder to hold it together and uh, as I put a meter on uh, one end and across here I, I occasionally pick up a reading um, but uh, anyway um, I say I, 
I just like to see what uh, what's happening with things. I was rather expecting to see an outer jacket and then a black seam of carbon down the middle of it. I wasn't anticipating uh, that it would be uh, one continuous uh, carbon composition, which uh, I guess this is the sort of resistor it is. Never cut one open before. Um, but uh, I just thought I'd have a little look and uh, share it with you, so I'll get in even closer. So this is the uh, resistor under the microscope. The line across the top of the screen there is one side of the resistor. And then I uh, just sort of move across. You can see um, the black material I imagine in this, the carbon and then the lighter material uh, is uh, some sort of binder and something that controls uh, the resistance of uh, the device so I guess that's some sort of insulator and uh, now just moving to the other side of the resistor so to give you some idea there so um, I've covered about uh, it must be what quarter of an inch so five or six millimeters across that resistor but um, so I, I don't know why the resistor has failed I guess there are, are breaks in the boundaries um, uh, in the in the carbon but uh, say so I usually try and find out what's going on um, I'll have a look at the end section where there's a joint so the image that's filling the screen now is a connecting wire so that's the thickness of the wire from the top of the screen to the bottom and that wire goes into the carbon composite so that's a wire at the top and uh, that's a section through the carbon composite below uh, so that's the interface between the copper wire and the carbon composite material so again we'll just look uh, from one side of the resist there and I'll just scan across to the other side of the resistor there okay well that's something different hope you found that interesting thanks for watching bye bye